The collection log. It paves the way for my account progress as I work on one task at a time, randomly generated by my spreadsheet. Now that we're in the hard tier, it's time to kick it up a notch with some of the hardest grinds we'll ever have to face. This is Generate Task Season 3. In the previous episode of Generate Task, we opened 8 elite caskets and did the elite clue we had in the bank to get 2 new elite clue uniques. We then got insanely lucky with the Dagonaut Prime Pet while going for a new DK's unique which ended up being the Dragon X. We then also got 5 more medium clue uniques, did some trouble brewing for the Bronze Fist Flag, completed the current and Kebbles Hard Diary and got 2 more uniques at the Hallowed Sepulchre. Today we're visiting the Ironworth dungeon to hunt for the enhanced crystal teleport seed. A new year has begun with many tasks left to complete, so let's get cracking. Enjoy. So it looks like I'll be killing these then, the Ironworth warriors, for a 1 in 1020 drop of the enhanced crystal teleport seed. Let's just get started and we'll see how long it takes. I just realized I'm 513 kills in now, so that means we are over halfway to the drop rate. We're also about 120k away from 96 attack and 99k from 95 defense. So I feel like we might get those levels here if we don't get it too early on, but we'll see what happens. It's really not that bad though, it's very AFK and we get some alcohol, some nature runes, some crystal shards. I don't mind this too much, just a matter of time really. Is it gonna happen on this kill? Kill number 1020, the drop rate right here. Is it gonna be another item that we go dry on? I say another, but it doesn't happen too often, but it happens this time. There it is, 1,020 kills in, and we are not done yet. We are uh, getting closer and closer to these attack and defense levels. We'll probably get that soon, but we don't have the item yet. We just gotta keep going for now. I knew it, yeah, okay. 95 defense has been achieved, cool. 21k until 96 attack, I'm probably gonna miss that as well, but that'll be the next thing here very soon. We're 1,219 kills in, just about 200 kills over the drop rate already. There it is, 96 attack coming in as well, and that is now 1 million XP until that next level. So the next combat stat is going to be... Uh, it's gonna be close. It might be 96 defense or 99 strength as far as melee goes, but uh, we'll see what happens. Still no seat though, 1372 kills in now. Hopefully we'll get it soon, because this is not too exciting, but you know what? We'll just keep going, we'll see when it happens. 17 mil hit points XP as well, that's racking up already. Well, we've been here for so long that my Varex skirt completely degraded. So let's go and fix that one real quick. We're almost at 2,000 kills now. So almost at double the drop rate, but yeah, we're, sh we're still going. We, we still don't have the seed. Hopefully it'll happen soon though. Everything is just pain. I just realized that on the last kill, we got 2,040 KC. So that means we are now officially over double the drop rate, halfway to another wall of pain entry. But I really hope that I don't get it because this is quite slow. But then again, if we go dry on this compared to some other grinds, it wouldn't be too bad. So I would take it if I have to, but we'll see. Okay, guys, it's time. I have caved in. We are bringing out the cannon. We only have 3,654 cannonballs, but it is going to speed up the things a bit. And hopefully it's going to help us enough to get the seed as soon as possible. We got it! We got the seed. Yes, it's time. It is time. Guys, we did it. Seed has been obtained. Oh my god, wow. <sighs> okay, 2,189kc. That is all it took. And that is all she wrote. Now, of course, we are also going to change this seed into the actual crystal. We don't have the levels for it because you need 80 smithing and 80 crafting to do so yourself. But we can get it made by someone else, by an NPC in Privdenus. That's going to cost us 150 shards, but we have plenty of those. So that is okay. Let's go get it made. Is it this NPC? Reese? Could you do it for me? Because I'm not good enough. Make eternal teleport crystal. Yes, we did it. Okay, cool. And now we can teleport to like Letia and Privdenus as much as we want. How nice is that? We've gone and done it yeah Woo! cool task has been completed and we can move on to hopefully a really cool task now i'm looking forward to it uh let's find out what it's gonna be so guys after going double the drop rate we finally got the enhanced crystal teleport seat so we can now complete our task that is now 48 percent hearts now it's time to find out what the next task will be here we go let's generate Oh my god, it's Gets Grotesque one Guardians. unique drop from Grotesque Guardians. Woo! Well, so far we've only done one kill for the medium tier where we had to get the granite dust, but now it's time to actually grind these out and I'm not sure how that's gonna go, but we'll figure it out. Let's go and kill some Grotesque Guardians and let's see how long this one takes. 
Alright, so first things first, of course, we need to get a gargoyle task again to start killing the grotesque guardians. So we're gonna do some tutorial skipping again, and I love doing that. So let's get started. Hopefully, we don't have to spend too much time getting the task, but we'll see. Alright, we finally got the gargoyle stars that we were looking for. 226 of them. So that means we are ready to go to the grotesque guardians. I think I might need to get some more supplies first. And I'll need to figure out how to do the fight in general. But we will do that in a second. And then hopefully we'll get the item soon. Let's get started. We're just gonna send it. Yeah, I don't know how this will go, but fuck it. We'll learn along the way, right? That's the plan. That was very, very smooth right there. Um, 257 new PB, as you can tell, that was very, very good. Uh, yeah, we're off to a great start. That was a much better kill, wasn't it? Yeah, we're, we're getting the hang of this. And that's a pretty decent loot as well. Dragon Longsword with Rune Plate Legs, that's good alks. Nice, can't even loot all of it. Guys, we're done. We have the Granite Ring after four kills and we can move on to the next task. We got our unique. Let's go. Uh, grotesque Guardians. Our first real experience with them, really not that bad at all. Uh, we've got the Granite Ring, I don't think that is useful for anything, but we'll take that. So uh, yeah, there we go. Task completed once again. Let's get a new one. Easy as that. That took a bit less long than the Teleport Seed from the Elves, so that's cool. First unique drop from the Grotesque Guardians. I didn't expect it to be this easy, but turns out it was, so we can complete that one straight away. We're very close to halfway the heart here now. Only 2% left, that's probably 2 or 3 tasks. Let's see what the first one is gonna be of those tasks remaining. A unique note from Fossil Island, that's a very quick one, because we have all the Numelite needed for these, so... That's like 5 minutes and we'll be right back. Alright, this is a new world record attempt, any percent at completing the Fossil Island note task. Here we go. Let's go to Fossil Island, let's complete it straight away with the 5,516 Numelite we have. Go! Boom, open it, and... Get the note. Boom, just like that. Easy. And we can move on to the next task. We got the musty smelling note. That one goes straight into the collection log. Beautiful. The fastest task ever. Three minutes from generation to completion. Easy as that. Might just be the next task that we reach the halfway mark. And that next task is a new champion scroll. For this one, we'll probably head out to the zombies, I think. Because last time we did ghouls, we got spooned on that one. Let's hope we can do that again with the zombie champion scroll as well. Okay, we're just gonna start with whatever cannonballs we have. We're using the granite dust that we got so far, which was 306. We're gonna kill these zombies and hopefully we'll get the champion scroll here. If not, then I'll go kill them somewhere else probably, but let's start with this and see if we get it. And just like that, we are out of cannonballs. So I'm probably gonna switch it up and go kill them elsewhere with melee, I think. Uh, Cause I'm not gonna make more cannonballs, obviously. That's not something we do. I'm not sure where the best spot is to kill them with melee, but I'll figure that out. I think most people just kill them in the wilderness, but I feel like if you don't have a cannon, that's not really worth it. So I think I'm gonna look for a different spot and we'll continue to grind there. So far we've killed 1,646. So we're just about one third of the way to the drop rate. All right, there we go, 2,500 zombies killed in total. We are halfway to the drop rate and still no champion scroll in sight. This is the first time we get a beekeeper random event since they added the beekeeper outfit. So we have to do this now because we need to get that outfit for the collection log. So let's do that for the very first time on the account. Yes, that's perfect. Yes, nice. Now, what do we get? We get the beekeeper's legs. Beautiful. First piece of the outfit, few more to go. We'll just keep doing those from now on and we'll get that fairly soon. And that right there is kill number 5,000. We've killed 5,000 zombies in total now, so we are once again over the drop rate. I switched places. I'm killing them in the Edgefield dungeon now because I feel like there's a lot more here. And I feel like I can probably kill a lot more per hour, but I'm not sure if it's really better. I haven't really kept track of any numbers, but yeah, like I said, there's a lot more here, so I feel like it's better. Let's see if we have to kill another 5,000. Hopefully not. Hopefully we'll get it soon enough, but we are once again dry. Oh no. Oh no. 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 Ever since I switched from cannoning the ones in the basement, which was like 2000 KC. I've done over 5000 kills since then, by the way. I, I use my glory instead of my solve. I mean, yeah, they're only 24 HP. I, I one hit them quite often, but ah, I, I did not think of that. That That is my bad. Yes. Uh, let me grab my solve, Emmy. There we go. And we're going back. 7300 kills in, by the way. Whew. We just hit 9,001 KC at the zombie, so I guess you could say it's over 9,000. <laughs> yeah. yeah, almost double the drop rate. Uh, we're not done yet. 550k until 99 strength. Getting way too much XP here to my liking. 
It is time. We have reached 10,000 zombies slain. So we are over half. Wait, over half? No, over double the drop rate now. 10,000 of these suckers and we're still not done. Well, hopefully I won't have to go all the way to 15,000. But if so, then I'll be back with that. We are very close to another virtual hit points level though. 815 kills away. That'll be level 102 before getting our second 99. So that's pretty cool. 17.5 mil XP in that one. Okay, what, what if we get the, the zombie champion scroll from the mystery box? We'll kill a zombie, and then as it dies, as the loot spawns, I'll open the box and we'll get the, jam the, the zombie champion scroll. Together with the stale baguette, look at this. Boom. Oh, we got a medium clue, and that's better than most things. <laughs> uh, we didn't get the scroll or the baguette, but that's good. I'll take that. Well, we've done 11 kills after it already, but we did hit 15,000 KC. That means that we are three times the drop rate now. Still only one scroll that we got so far, which is a medium clue scroll from the, uh, the quiz master. But no champion scroll yet. Slowly uh, losing my mind here, but I just gotta keep going, right? 20,000 is gonna be the next stop, which is gonna be four times the drop rate. And uh, we're already 70% on the way to 99 strength as well, so <laughs> we might just get that if we get very unlucky. But hopefully that won't be the case. Oh, here we are. Here we are, guys. Kill number 20,000. We're even cosplaying as a zombie at this point because we're so desperate. We're trying to become a zombie to get what we want. This is going to be four times the drop rate right here. 20,000 zombies later and we still do not have it. Unless... Nope, we're not done. We have to keep going and we are only less than 200k XP away from 99 strength now, which is about 6,000 zombies left, I think. I mean, hopefully we don't get there, but at the same time, I guess it would be pretty cool, but I kind of want to scroll now. Yeah. Yeah, we've been here for like a week now, just killing zombies. It's great fun. And um, we've got people joining us at least, so that's keeping us company. All right. Next stop, 25,000. Guys, the zombie champion scroll, it exists. Oh, we're free. We're free at last. Oh, yes. Sweet release. 24,863. Not quite 5x the drop rate, but it took a while. God damn it. The zombie cosplay did pay off in the end. We can now finally move on and we can go to the Champions Guild to fight the Champion of Zombies eventually as well. Oh, that's amazing. That is amazing. We can move on, but first, before getting a new hard task, we now have to do about an hour of Castle Wars as well to get the new red decorative helm and boots. So we'll do that first. Then after that, we'll get a new hard task. But once we complete this one, that'll be 50% hard and we'll be halfway to the elite tier already. Champion scroll number five. Let's move on. There's our little collection now. We got the goblin, 10 giant, one hobgoblin, one ghoul, and one zombie scroll. We're halfway to the champion's cape. That's looking nice. We're also over at castle wars now. So let's get those nine tickets that we need real quick. And we can move on to the next task. And we are done with Castle Wars for now. We got the nine tickets, which we need for the full helm, which is five tickets, and the boots, which are four tickets. And just like that, we are done with Castle Wars. We do still have a bunch of Castle Wars tasks in the heart tier as well, and trouble brewing, so we might get that as our next task now that we have these. Let's move on. Let's see what the next heart task is going to be. We could also get the final champion scroll in the heart tier, which I'm not really looking forward to after that long one at the zombies, but it might well happen. Let's find out. Guys, after about 10 days of killing zombies in the Edgefill dungeon, we are done. We have also gotten the two new red decorative pieces afterwards. And that should be not 50% yet. Okay, I thought I was going to get 50% from that, but I guess not. <laughs> I guess the next task is going to put us halfway uh, with the heart tier. Let's find out. No champion scroll. No champion scroll. Okay, elite void top. Wait, that's pretty good. We do not have the diary yet, or do we? I'm not even sure if we have the diary done, but if not, we have to do that first. Then we have to do pest control for our first elite void piece. So let's go and work on that. That's pretty decent, not too bad. Not the worst task to get. I actually do have the Western Provinces hard diary completed already. So that means all we have to do is head on over to pest control, play some games and get that elite void top. Not too bad at all. Let's get it going. I think it's 250. I'm not sure. Is it 250, 275? Let's go take a look. Oh, so apparently it's only 200 points for the... Wait, where is it? Wait, how does this work? <laughs> Wait, talk to them. How does this work? Elite void knight? Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, please. Okay, so 200 points to upgrade each item. So we will only have to get 200. That won't take too long at all. Let's get it going. 
Okay, there we go. We have 100 Void Knight Commendation points. We're halfway because we need 200 for the Elite Top. We're also very close to the defense level, so we'll probably get that soon as well before we're done here. Uh, of course, there's the 96 defense. Yeah, we got it. Okay, 29k until 99 strength. That's gonna be the next combat stat. But I don't think we'll get that at pest control. Maybe on the next task. That's gonna be our second 99 very soon. Pretty exciting. 18 mil hit points XP before we got that second one. And there it goes, the final portal of the task, because that means we now have 200 Void Knight Commendation points again. Let's go grab that Void Knight top from the bank and let's upgrade that one to the first Elite Void piece. We still have to get the bottoms later as well, that'll be for next time. Let's quickly go and upgrade it. Let's talk to the Elite Void Knight over here and let's see what we can do. Yes, please upgrade our top. There we go. Boom. Elite Void Knight upgrades your armor. We now have the Elite Void top. That is looking pretty decent. Cool. Nice. We're done. Moving on. No more pest control for now unless we get the bottoms as the next task. But I feel like we won't. I feel like we'll get another clue task maybe. I don't know why, but clues are something we're going to get now. That's my call. Right, so we got our Elite Void Top, that is the second to last item we need from Pest Control. And that is also going to bring us to 50% hard, so we are halfway done with the third tier of the account. Let's move on swiftly to the next task, and that one is going to be another unique from Cerberus, that's already the third one. We're getting all of the Cerberus tasks back to back to back it seems, we keep getting them. Let's go and kill some more Cerberus, let's get another crystal, because we got the Pegasian crystal and the Keymaster teleport so far. So first things first, we need to get a Hellhound task again, and we're still stuck on the Gargoyles from last time when we got the Grotesque Guardian unique. So it's time for some more tutorial skipping, my favorite activity in the game. Here we go again, let's hope that it doesn't take too long to get Hellhounds again. Anyways, that didn't take too long, only three skips and we got Hellhounds, so it is already time to head over to Cerberus and get that third unique, let's go. Alright, here we are again. We're starting with 172 kill count. Once again, we need to get the Primordial Crystal, the Eternal Crystal or the Smoldering Stone to complete the task. And maybe we'll get the Pet or the Jar along the way as well. Let's get going. There it is. 99 strength at Cerberus. I almost missed it, but I, I saw the, the bar change on, on Runelight on my side panel. Now I'm gonna try not to die as well. There we go. 99 strength, guys. We did it. Second 99 on the account after hit points. We now have the Trimmed Skill Cape, which is pretty neat. I'll probably get the Strength one as well later, but now we can switch to Accurate forever. Until we have 99 attack as well. That's the next one that we'll get. Maybe range on a different task. We'll see. I forgot, that was 200 KC, the last kill, so that means we are currently 28 kills into the task. No unique yet, we got another Keymaster Teleport drop, but obviously that doesn't count at all. We had 200 KC in total, not bad, racking up those kills. We're also gonna get 97 attack on this task, unless we get it soon. Of course, there it is, 97 attack. Coming in hot, two more levels until another 99. We're, we're racking up these combat levels. It's pretty nice, we're at 1875 total as well now. Looking pretty decent. Still no unique though, 224 KC so far in total. Wait, that's literally double the drop rate. Well, the drop rate for two uniques, 256, and we get the Eternal Crystal. <laughs> okay, that means we don't have the Primordial nor the Smoldering Stone in the heart here. But that does mean that we can move on. We still can't make this, we still can't use this because we still need the 60 runecrafting, just like we have for the Pegasian Crystal. But we're done with Cerberus! Nice! No more Cerberus until we reach the Elite tier. I mean, I guess we can do some Serb if we still have to train Slayer for Thermi, but that's about it. That is about it. So yeah, not bad. Not bad. I'll take that. Let's throw that in here. Let's take another look at the collection lock for Cerberus, because that is going to be it for now. Right there, three out of seven. Eternal Crystal, Pegasian Crystal, and we had the Keymaster Teleport drop three times. Bang on the drop rate, just like that. And we can move on once again. We're already 41% on the way to the next Slayer level, so that's not too bad. Let's move on to the next task. Let's see what we get. 84 Cerberus kills later, and we are done with Cerberus for now. Let's complete that task. The first task in the second half of the heart here. Let's see what's up next. Would it be the second Champion Scroll that we still need in the heart here? Or actually, it's the third one in the heart here. Let's find out. <laughs> or it's the Elite Void Rope. We're just going back to Pest Control and we're gonna finish Pest Control. Back to Pest Control, we go for the second Elite Void piece. That lines up fairly well. Let's go and get it. And there we go, we are done with Pest Control forever. Because that is 200 points right there that we need for the Elite Void Rope. We have the one right here. Let's go and upgrade it with the Elite Void Knight over here. Let's get it. 
Do you wish me to upgrade any Void Knight armor for you? Yes, please. 200 commendation points to upgrade it. Okay. And there it is. Now, if we look at the collection log for minigames pest control, that is another section fully cleared. 10 out of 10. Green text right there. Looking beautiful. We now have full elite void. That's definitely going to be useful at some things. And we can move on once again to the next task. I think I'm quickly going to check the hit points game because we haven't even looked at it ever since we got 99 strength. But look at that, we now have the trimmed version, which looks a lot cooler, actually. Although the untrimmed one is a bit unique. I don't really care about it too much. This one looks sick. I like it. Anyway, task done. Moving on to the next one. Let's see what we get. Elite Void Robe has been obtained. Complete the task. We have 51%. It's gonna be either Barrows or Clues. It has to be, because there's way too many tasks of those still left. Let's see what it is. Like I said, a unique from Barrows. We're going back to Barrows. We're gonna get another unique. We still need a tank body. It's about time we get that, I think. Let's go and grab one. Find out next time if we do finally get that tank body from Barrows or if we'll be stuck on the granite body. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you all soon in the next episode. Have a good one and take care.